Welcome to Fit Focus. My name is Seuss, and the guy who's benching, his name is Brennan. And today's episode is about chest, so day one chest. And you're wondering why I'm doing this. Uh, stretching. You want to stretch your rotator cuffs, your shoulders, so you don't get injured while benching or doing any push, like incline or chest flies, any of that. So just do a couple of these. This will help you put blood in the chest. As you can see, Brennan's warming up on the bench. Nice and slow. Film the muscle. All right, guys, so this is how you do a proper bench. I'm not saying I'm the best at this, but this is the way I learned. So the first step is getting a good like setup. So what I like to do is I ignore my leg drive, which you need for a bench first. I kind of just sit back into it. As you can hear, my hip just popped. And I kind of drive my legs in the ground so I can get like a little hip thrust, but you don't want your butt coming off the bench. You'll feel it, you want your glutes right on the bench. You want a little arch, push your shoulders blades together and kind of get under the bar so your eye level. I would go a little bit ahead of the bar over here and I kind of just get set. Place your arms, what I like to do, and this is really good for starters, put your arms like this, go like this, and then place your hands like that. It makes it really easy to tell how wide your shoulders should be or whatever so you don't get shoulder pain. And I put my thumbs out, but you don't have to do that. And it helps me get set, bring your rack up the bar, slowly come down like that. I'd say by, at the nipple or below it, and then push up. And also you can notice that it's not going like straight up. That's not the best way to do it. Going at an angle is the most natural way to do it to your body because it's just how it works. So a full set should look like. Arch your back, of course, get ready. Put your hands in the right place. Push up the weight. You can throw up the weight. Just up and down, keep doing it. Up and down. Or you can control on the weight down. And then push up as hard as you can. Or you can do my favorite pause reps. I like doing this a lot. You just pause at the bottom for like two seconds and push up. Pause, one, two, push up. So bench press, it's literally the best exercise, one of the best for strength and growth on your chest for starters and like also for like veterans and on to the next workout. Okay, incline press. Uh, this targets your upper chest, uh, front delts, sometimes triceps. You can do a bunch of uh, incline like Smith machines, barbell, you can see behind me there's a barbell, you can set it up. This pretty much isolates your upper chest because some people they do a lot of flat bench. They don't do like a lot of incline. You need to do a lot of incline to get that, like the full roundness of your chest. So pretty much what I have here is two dumbbells. I'm gonna show you how to do it. You know, you set it up. Flare out your elbows, arch your back a little bit. And you wanna go as deep, like next to your chest as you can see. Then just push it up. Keep doing this. You wanna feel the stretch and just keep pushing up. The last exercise is incline press. This is a machine which pretty much does it for you. You just gotta put some weight on. The only thing you can change is the seat. You can change the seat to target your chest, your upper chest a lot. So pretty much, of course, I have some weight here. All you do, this is the machine, pretty much does it for you. You just push up. You wanna feel in your chest. You move, you can uh, move your hands to the right spot. You just push up. And you just shoot, you should feel your chest. And you just do this a bunch of times. To your failure. For like three sets, 10 reps. our chest workout that we like doing on our chest days again bench incline incline dumbbell press any and then incline machine yep and then also so you guys also may be wondering how many sets and reps should i do for each exercise typically for beginners you want to do from around four sets of ten um it's just easier to get that mind and muscle connection and that'll be your thing for around like 
two months, three months ish. Those will be your newbie gains. It'll be easier to stay on that track. And then you can choose how many sets you want to do based on how you feel and so on and so. I like to stick to two sets of just straight failure and I just end it because that's just easier. But I'm not in that advanced stage where I can do different stuff yet. So, yeah. Yeah, and thanks for watching and stay tuned for our next YouTube video.